So we can start off this video with Jake Paul and his first boxing opponent in 2021, Ben Askren. The two would have their press conference and after they had finished it, they came face to face with each other. Jake will go on to win their boxing match in a dominant fashion, and then his next opponent will be another UFC fighter in Tyron Woodley. The two will go face to face with each other for the first time here. Hey, I'm on and I'm your best friend. What you gonna do differently? I'm what you gonna do differently? Because you were coaching your best friend. You were coaching your best Jay. friend. What you gonna do differently? Don't bitch out. You, everybody here. You were coaching your best friend. I know. Adding a no bitch out clause for this dude. <laughs> Once you start seeing him training and grinding, you gonna fucking go bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Then this other YouTuber, Austin McBroom, would for whatever reason link up with Tyron Woodley. Jakey Jakey, you're in trouble, my man. Damn, Jake. Oh, nigga switching on you. God damn, you must be whack. You in trouble. Jake would then respond to Austin with this video, taking shots back at him. I'm in trouble, Austin. Does your wife know that you cheat on her every weekend? Does she know that you message every single girl on Instagram trying to get in their pants? <laughs> Oh, do I have way too much tea on you and your little family. This would then lead to a confrontation between the two, both Austin and Jake. What's up? Come on, bro. Come on with what, bro? Oh, I'm not good. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. You, but you're the one that started this shit, bro. You know not to take it there, bro. The family shit? How long have I known you? How long have I known you? Yeah, exactly. So why are you going to hang out with my opponent like that? That makes you that mad? That's what I'm saying. Don't start something that you don't want to get yourself into as a man. But I thought we was boys. Uh, me if too. If we got boys, then for sure, then we can run it up after my shit. After I knock Bryce out, you coming up next. Me, get the security out here. We can run it right now. Okay, let's run it then. Yeah, let's go. Get let's the security out here. Let's run it then. Create a circle. Let's run it then. Yeah, create a circle. Yeah, yeah, if we're not boys no more, let's run it then. Let's run it then. You're, you're a wannabe you Jake Paul. You got my text. You're a wannabe Jake Paul. No, Bryce is, and that's why he's gonna get knocked out, and you're coming up next. You're copying all my shit. And you're coming up next. You're coming up next. You're copying all my shit. You're a clown. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Fuck them. Let's go. Okay, now going back to the Jake Paul versus Tyron Willie build up, they had their weigh in event, and when Jake's his brother Logan was up on stage, this one heckler in the crowd was yelling at Logan. We're gonna get rough and rowdy out there, right? Big Cat, your official prediction. What is it? Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Come on! Look, come on! Come on! Come on, show me how much of a pussy I am! Hey, come on! Come show me how much of a pussy I am! You, yeah, you, I'm looking at you! Walk up the fucking aisle, get on stage, and show me how much of a pussy I am. It's all good. I got your back, Logan. I got your back, just to let you know. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Then the day of the fight came, and as we all saw what happened that night, Jake took home the W by split decision, and then when he went backstage, he confronted one of the fighters on the card, Tommy Fury. Hey, what's going on, son? What's going on, son? Listen, you need to hey, stop man. ruining my oh, friend. Do you want to keep ruining or do you want to hey, take hey, the fight? Hey, well, you can barely be my sparring partner for Listen, four you could be a guy who's never had a boxing fight. That guy who's never had a boxing fight. The fight between both Tommy and Jake did get an announcement, but it ended up not happening as Tommy had to pull out of the fight and then we got the news that Tyron Woodley would be taking his place. And well, we all saw how that fight turned out. Now Jake's brother Logan also had somewhat of an eventful year in boxing as he had a boxing match with the one and only Floyd Mayweather Jr. To start building up hype for the event, Logan and Mayweather had a face off happen. Mayweather would then talk trash to both Logan and Jake. I'm capable of kicking two asses in one night. One, two. <laughs> and after that whole face off event had happened, Jake went on to confront Mayweather and well, the rest is history. You want to run right in front of Absolutely. Absolutely, let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's make Motherfucker. I'm gonna fuck you, motherfucker. When I catch you, motherfucker, I kill you, motherfucker. I'm crazy. I'm gonna fuck you, nigga. Play with. I don't play no motherfucking games. 
Now, many of us here know of Logan and Jake's dad, Greg Paul. He's one of those tough-minded guys that you see and hear about. But in this one instance in a Logan Paul video, he got emotional when he was taking in the magnitude of his son going up against arguably one of the greatest boxers ever. You're doing shit that people aren't doing. You know? It's your fucking fight game. You don't quit. And because of that, like, you've already won a million times. Logan and Floyd ended up going all eight rounds with no winner determined by officials and on that same night to that event we had Austin McBroom walking around the arena and then talking that trash to both Bryce Hall and Taylor Holder in preparation of the YouTubers vs TikTokers event that was going to happen just six days later. Next up. Y'all little boys next up. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Get your foot. Get your foot. But before we get into the YouTubers versus TikTokers event and the drama that occurred between Austin and Bryce, we gotta go over some of what happened between Bryce and this other YouTuber called Stromedy. So this guy Stromedy was calling out Taylor Holder to fight him for a hundred thousand dollars, and then to Stromedy's surprise, both Bryce and Taylor confronted him in public. We're here to support small creators like yourself. Buddy, I get more views than you. I get more views than you on my second channel, bro. On my second channel. How about we go to a boxing? I'm down. I'm down. That's what I want. I've been saying that. Let's do it. I'm down. Let's do it. 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 Running for a fight and just plenty of shit talking occurred. I came here for one thing and one thing only. You said I wasn't about shit. I'm here right now. now. But what I'm gonna do Why? is I'll fight you in a ring. Yeah, we have a gym. gym. Right now. A private gym. We can go right now. I'm busy. I'm filming a video. Oh, right now. Oh, he's busy. Right I'm looking at you in the eyes and I'll tell you. I'm right going now, to fight you? Right not now. right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. Bro, bro. Not right now. Why? Not right now. Why? I'll pick a day. We got cameras no. to Today. Prove it. Today is the day. I'm busy, bro. Today I'm busy. No, because I'm not talking to you man to man, alright? If you want to get smart with me, you can step out here and I'll fuck your ass up right now, alright? Shut your fucking mouth and listen to me while I'm talking to you. I've been mad fucking respectful to you this whole time. You want to smart out to me? I'm not the fucking dude to do it. Step out in the street and I'll fade your shit right now, alright? How you gonna shut the fuck up? Are you gonna come to my house? Because I've been respectful this whole time. You have a fucking thing? You want to say you called me? You called me in front of 15 fucking pop I'm not talking to you. Ain't no one gonna do shit in front of 15 fucking Paparazzi. You want to do that to look cool, look like a big boy, bro. Be big, bro. Step on the fuck around. Fade your shit right now, boy. I'll fuck hey, you no, up. No, but first bro. I called right. dibs. Yeah, I called dibs yeah. first. The date would be set, but it didn't exactly go through. But Stromedy and his squad did have some antics go down when they decided to go and throw some water balloons at the opposing team and then would drive up to Bryce. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Yo, Bryce, you missed, dog. Yo, what's up? Oh. Oh, Bryce just fucked up the car. Holy. One of Stromedy's friends would then get into a FaceTime call with Bryce and just talk so much shit to him. Yo, what the fuck do you want? Come to the gym. Come to the Yo, listen, if I come to the gym, it's gonna be on some UFC shit. No boxing shit. I don't want no boxing shit. I wanna drop your ass, bro. I swear to God. Alright, bet. Yo, Bryce. Yo, look at me. Look at me. I'm fucking talking to you. I'm fucking talking to you. Look at my fucking eyes. Okay? Yo, shut the fuck up. Shut your fucking mouth. Shut your fucking mouth, okay? When I get back from Miami, when I get back from Miami, I'll be at Dog Pound. Every fucking day, bro. Now, while everything was pointing to Stromedy not wanting to fight at all, him and Bryce did end up boxing each other. But before that would happen, that one guy that was talking shit to Bryce would end up meeting him in person at the ring. So I saw, saw the guy in person, and his energy completely changed in person. I would fuck you up. Yo, fuck me now? Bro, your energy changed. Like weird shit, bro. My energy changed. Because it's in person. Uh, uh, energy changed real, yeah? real quick. Yo, don't fucking piss me off. Bro. I'm telling you right now, if you put the gloves on right now, he's putting you to sleep in under three seconds. I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I warned you at Boa. Yeah, if you're gonna look at me like that, get in this fucking ring and face me like a man. Where was that energy on FaceTime? You said you could fuck me up. I'm right here. I pushed you. You sat there like a little bitch. Stromedy then pulled up to the building and ring, and Bryce will go on to confront him. I'm gonna hurt you. Get me that you stand here. Even if I fuck you, put your gloves on. Let's run this shit. Here, step in the ring, dog. Give me your email. I can, I can run. I can run. So, dude, why is everyone so f***ing different in person? God damn, bro. Stromedy then backed out of the building and Bryce can be seen very frustrated with him. Get this in the ring. Hold on. Fuzzy will try to talk some sense into Stromedy and then tell Bryce what was going on. I'm about to go out there. No, you're not. 
him you're up not. in the street and you in need to two seconds. Right now and, and then this little is he's gonna get it right after. He should get kicked out. You honestly hey, respect I'll be bro. Now. Get the yeah, out of here before I f you up. Before I f you up. Bryce and Stromedy would eventually go at it in the boxing ring, and we would even see Stromedy throw a gift hit to Bryce. Oh! Whoa. Really? That's all you got? <laughs> Stromedy would then get gassed out and then dipped after the first round. Bro, why the f is there a sauna in here? We train like that's, that's that's boxing. Oh, yeah. He said one round, I filled it, I said one round. That's true. I'm down Dude, to schedule the fight. Alright, all right. fighting the entire time. Yeah. Let's Go. Then take his gloves off. He's done. I said one round. After that, and right before Stromedy will leave the site, Bryce will go up to Stromedy to tell him how he felt after they had their fight. The only thing that I will say, this is from fuck. someone that actually fought tonight. And stay calm and collected. I know, I am. Talk. I'm fully calm. The only thing I will say is I respect that you actually got in the ring. You had the balls to get in the ring. Do I think that was a fight? No. I don't think that was a fight. I think you were, were running the entire time. And I've never fought someone like that. But I do respect that you got in the ring. And, and, and fought me. And we'll leave it right. at that. Period. Let's go. With y'all two, we'll leave it at that. Let's go. Now, this is where we get into some of the YouTubers versus TikTokers talk, and more so of the Austin McBroom and Bryce Hall beef. So the event gets announced, and then we're off to the races of Bryce and Austin beefing with each other. I want to see some eye contact this time, please. He won't even look me in the eyes. Can you come a little closer for me? For, what are you going to do? What are you going to do if I do come closer? You're not going to do shit. I'll knock you out now and in the ring. How about you come over here and do some shit? Oh yeah? June 12th is my rest day, pussy. Of course, the YouTubers versus TikTokers events had to have their press conference, and when it came down to the main eventer's turn to talk, things were already starting to get heated. Have you ever been in in like a what, 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 what do you consider a fight? If you yeah. step what do you consider a fight? Uh, uh, someone I, I wanna you, I wanna know what you consider you a fight. The fucking jaw. I wanna I wanna know what someone you consider a fight. Someone punching you across the fucking jaw like I'm about oh, to do on go. June 12th. I'll fucking slap the. Oh my god, dude. Guard. Don't ever step up on me no, like that with your stupid ass pajamas. Right and then, as many of us know, Austin walked up to Bryce again and things got physical. Alright, why, 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 why do you think because. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Now after that press conference that went down, later down the line it was time for the weigh-in event. But before that we'll go live, Fuzi and Deji would confront each other and to just add a little bit of context as to what they're about to say. Here was a clip from the press conference that happened that had the two going at each other. Fine. If anything, if I was to have an easy fight, Fuzi, you're an easy fight. Slip is an easy oh, fight. Who's the easy fights? Yo, yo, yo. Right? yo. So, <laughs> I, Yo, that's what I'm saying. You're literally the he most shaking in his YouTuber boots, ladies and gentlemen. You're, you're one time you're up there, you're doing your shit, and now now you're what day in the two. Yep. Honestly, you're just you're fluctuating. At least I never you, had to like, buy pick, YouTube pick, subscribers, bro. Do, my guy. Oh, wow. I that earned 10 million sucks. and left that channel on my own, so don't speak on my legacy. So, yeah, when it was the day of the weigh ins, Fuzi and Deji found each other backstage, and this happened. I've known you for years, Deji. We've been cool. Like, we've even before yeah, this. Yeah, we were cool. And we were I, cool I actually heard the shit you said on stage. Yeah, and in my video, I, like, I don't know if you watched my video, I talked about how I started off by saying, I respect you, Deji. That was you the first thing I said. Me. If you respect me, you wouldn't have said that. But the stuff you said, I know you don't respect me at all, but I'm still telling you, Wait, I do respect you. What do you mean? I'm going off of what they told me to say. They, they gave me things and stuff well, so to they, say. So they told you to disrespect me? To, how, in what way disrespect? Which part offended you? You said I was fucking subbing butts. Subbing but, butting subs. That was after you went after my career yeah, still, and still, this still on that. What I'm just doing still, here to do that. You disrespecting me. Did you I'm not do the same even, before that? wasn't even true. Did you not, was my, but did you not do the same right yeah, before Yeah, this year I said was true then. Then it was time for the YouTubers versus TikTokers events, and just staying on the topic of Austin McBroom and Bryce Hall, we saw Austin get the third round TKO victory against Bryce, and then also speak positively on him. You know, a lot of people want to keep having me talk shit about Bryce Fall, but I'm only going to lift him up like everybody else should. This man, Bryce Hall, is a strong-ass motherfucker, and I got to show him love, and everybody else on social media show him love. Cause there are not too many fucking people in this world that would get in the ring and do what he did. Shout out to you, bro. And after the event was said and done, Austin went backstage and soaked in the victory in a very emotional way. This shit that we did tonight for all the fighters to come in here and do what they did, like, <laughs> it's so much harder than anyone could ever think. And people out there talking shit about this and like talking shit about people that lost and talking shit about <laughs> people that are doing good things. And, 
fucked up out there. I don't know why people just can't lift each other up and make this world all positive, bro. This shit's fucked. And finally, we can end this video off on a good note with Deji and Bryce Hall. But first, once again, I gotta add some quick context to this. So at the YouTubers vs. TikTokers press conference, we saw Deji and Bryce Hall go at it quite a bit. I Shut the fuck up! I don't want you! I don't want because you! What, what would really I benefit from you? Enough. What would I benefit from you? You're Jake Paul's son! You're Jake you're Paul's son! Shut so the dumb. fuck up! Honestly. My I can't God. wait to see this man Deji, in person. Deji, Deji I'm why smack did this the shit fight? out of this man in person? Deji, oh, please, dude, one please, minute, Bryce. One minute, please. Bryce. I'm in Miami soon. I'm in Miami soon, please. Well, after the two of them lost in their respective fights at the YouTubers vs. TikTokers event, they found each other in public and managed to have a very positive interaction with each other. I guess you go, bro. You go. Fuck what anybody else says, bro. And yeah, that was it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed.